So we're out here in Vegas, uh, Yahoo Sports on the scene. Weird scene, though. Softball, and Jose Canseco's here. What are you doing at a softball tournament field complex? Well, I used to play a lot of softball. Um, hurt my knee a while back. Getting back into it, it's a blast. Playing with the uh, open men's uh, softball team out here, having a great time. I mean, it's a beautiful complex. It's artificial turf. Um, the weather looks like it's pretty good. And, uh, you know, open home runs. See how far we get a softball. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. So this has to be a thrill for these guys. Or do you come out here and guys are like, oh, screw it, it's Jose Canseco. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to bury him now. Now, a lot of guys have a, I know a lot of guys out here. They have a great time. Yeah. We have a great time, fun out here. I mean, it's very competitive, but I think uh, you know, the guys overall want to have a good time. They, they want to win. They want to highlight their skills. So it's a lot of fun. So Jose's real active on Twitter, so he's into the, uh, the social networking. You've got like 330,000 followers. I mean, you're an immensely popular guy still. Um, I've seen some rants recently. I saw some comments yesterday on the Tiger Woods apology. Um, give me your take on the, the, not so much the apology, if you want to comment on that, it can, but also the media reaction. Well, I mean, if you look at what's standard and protocol nowadays when an athlete either cheats on his wife, uses steroids, uh, commits a crime, it's standard protocol to afterwards, you know, do a press conference. And it's almost like rehearsed. I apologize to my fans, my family, my friends, and the, and the whole gimmick, the whole thing. is like you almost expect it. But when you really look at it, when I was looking at the interview, I don't think he owes an apology to anybody but his wife. I think that's a personal thing between him and his wife. He hurt her the most. Um, and it should have been kept personal. It should have never been brought out in the media's eye. He should have never had to do a press conference saying that, I apologize to the whole world because I hurt everybody. No, he hurt and devastated his wife and his family the most. It should have been very, very personal. And, uh, but the more you analyze it, the more you look at it really, it's standard in the industry. I wish some athlete would say something different. <laughs> not, not like you know, a, a politician, when, when there's a major occurrence, you know what they're going to come out and say. Yeah. You want somebody to be real. You want somebody to be honest and say like it really is. Do we have the right to analyze it? You're analyzing it. As the media, do we have the right to analyze it? Because I'm almost to the point now with the apologies. Why even apologize? It's never accepted. It's never accepted. And all people want to do is rub his nose in it. Mm -hmm. They want to make him pay for it. They want to make him suffer. Uh, an apology is never enough, no matter if it's heartfelt or not. And, you know, as long as he puts himself out there and he made that apology, now he's going to put himself out there for more questions. The media is still going to be after him. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we have not heard the end of this. And, uh, you know, it's like I said, that was an issue between him and his wife. It doesn't make him a worse golfer. It doesn't make him a better golfer. Uh, we're all human beings. We all make mistakes. Uh, and he did what... A lot of men in that position, in that industry, when you're famous and make a lot of money, I know I was there. When you're at the top of the world, temptations are there, and sometimes you're vulnerable, you human being, and, and you get subdued by them. You're taking it more seriously now. Well, I think people have to understand I'm 45 years old. That's my first time I ever fought professionally. Um, haven't trained, didn't take it seriously though because I had a very bad knee and couldn't train. I'm actually taking it very serious, very serious now. I'm a lot healthier. Um, I'm working with, with the Gracie family to get professional training, meaning the whole combination, the, the jiu-jitsu, the ground fighting, the stand-up fighting, the stamina, the, the technique, the knowledge of actually fighting another human being. So it, it's a whole different story. I, I think with the right training and with the Gracie family behind me 100 percent, it's going to be a whole different story. Why are you doing this? I mean, there's really not that much money in it, even if you got a Herschel Walker fight. And if you don't get that fight, is it really worth your time? Why not? Why not do it if you're capable of doing it? I mean, I was a professional athlete, the best baseball player in the world at one point. And I think your adrenaline, the need to stay young, the need to stay active, the need to compete, the adrenaline. I, I think you want to try every sport possible and just to experience life. I've, uh, I've criticized it as a possible pub stunt trying to kind of no. capitalize on what Herschel did. I'm wrong? I'm wrong? No, you're wrong because I was doing it before Herschel. And uh, I think it would be a perfect match, Herschel Walker and myself. Why? Because we're about the same age. I may be a little bit heavier than him. He may have more experience in MMA world than myself. Hopefully, I can get that with, with, with the Gracie family, training with them. But, um, I mean, you figure we are individual athletes that were great at what we did. Why can't we transcend it to another arena? Granted, we don't do that for a living. It's more like a celebrity entertainment type deal. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of fun. Why not do it? So can you do what Herschel did? He put his whole life on hold for three months and went up and trained. Can you do that every day? 
Absolutely. I was, I'm willing to go to the Gracie family and train every day for three months even because I think I'm going to need that kind of experience, that kind of training uh, to a fight Herschel. All right. What do you think of the criticism on the Internet? Listen, I get criticized for anything I do. <laughs> if I breathe wrong, I get criticized. Mm -hmm. If I look the wrong way, I get criticized. No matter what I do, negative or positive. If you look at our world, it's a world of critique. Mm -hmm. Why do you think there's wars? Because one person looks at one thing one way and another person looks at it completely different. You have misunderstandings, you have disagreements, and you have wars. At the smaller level, that's what we do to each other. We critique, we critique each other, and that's the way society is. So have you gotten any feedback at all from Herschel if he would take the fight, if he has no interest? I got a little bit of feedback from his agent, yeah. uh, her, and he, they said he would not fight me. But I think uh, it may be a, a negotiating ploy, and I think eventually, once the right channels actually reach the the is a great possibility that it will be a fight. I would assume it has to be under the Strike Force banner. That's who Walker's wor walk, uh, working with. And last week, yeah. I, I put up the headline. I'm like, did you meet with them or not? Because we had like three reports on Friday. Uh, I talked to a Strike Force rep who said, well, they were kind of at the same restaurant. They passed. They crossed paths. Caesar sat down with uh, Scott Coker, but Jose did not. We met. We met specifically for this issue. And, uh, you know, you hear a lot of rumors out there. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, we definitely met. And uh, hopefully we, we can put a deal together. What is there to gain long term? I mean, can you, you do you want three, four fights? You just want to try it once at the highest level? I like to try a period and see what happens from there and maybe continue. Who knows? Um, I mean, I'm in the entertainment industry. I have martial arts background. I, I would love to do it. I've never really fought healthy um, or a guy my, my size. So it, it, it's going to be interesting. I would love to train with the Gracie family and hopefully they will have me. And I think this Herschel Walker fight. They will see the real Jose Canseco, what he can actually do out there. All right. And Dana White's kind of the spokesperson since he runs UFC. He's in Australia right now, but he's been pretty outspoken. He doesn't like the coverage that you are getting, that Herschel's getting, and uh, he kind of thinks the whole thing's a farce and that you getting into it's a joke. I mean, if you really think about it, we're getting more covers than other UFC fighters combined, especially in Twitter and so forth. So I, I think UFC can be expanded that way. It, they're in a win-win situation because they're, they're going to gain a lot more fans uh, and a lot more of – of demographic in the sense of, yeah, you get the athlete dem demographics and you get the older, because I'm 45 and Herschel is 47 or 40 years old. So you're, you're going to get that dem de demographic in. And you know what? Why not do it? If two guys are willing to train for, for, for three months, go out there and, and show their ability, why not do it? And you don't think there's a downside for casual fans who know nothing about it, who look at it and go, what, what is this? This is a legit sport. I mean, guys getting into 45 years old, baseball player, there's no downside? Well, I mean... We would not go in there unless we're properly trained. And, and, th and that's what I said. I would not fight Herschel Walker unless the Gracie family trains me for three or four months. And with their training, with, with them behind you, with, with their support, you're going to see a really good fight.